Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk and today I'm going to film a book haul. This is much bigger than my last book haul and I have no time to waste so I'm going to jump right into it. The first book I'm going to talk about is something that was sent to me but like voluntarily sent to me. Like he asked if I wanted it and I'm like hell yes I want it. This is Captain Tomahawk and the Skyline which is something really different from what I normally read but I haven't read YA in a while, and I'm not actually sure if this is classified as YA, but it's more of like this adventure type of thing, and I already know that I love his writing because he's one of my favorite poets. So yeah, oh, by Marty S. Dalton, which I don't know him by, so that was just a weird moment there. When I'm ready for a good action book, this is going to be the one. Next is one that you guys already know that I have read and purchased because I have a review on it, and it is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This didn't make it into my last book haul because I got it like the day after I filmed it and I didn't want to refilm it, so I'm including it in this. I will have my review for it linked on this side of the screen and I will also have it down there in the description if you are curious to hear what I thought. And because we're staying on that Colleen Hoover train, um, I don't know why I didn't own this book before, but I somehow didn't. Oh yeah, it's because it was free. That's why I didn't. But it is Finding Cinderella, again by Colleen Hoover. I really, really loved this. It was, I think, the funniest book that I've read of hers. I really, really enjoyed it. It's very short. Also, however, uh, da, 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 da. I also have a review up on this that I will have linked on this half of the screen and again down in the down bar, the doobly-doo, the whatever. It's a million different names for that thing. This next book, Bella, you were teasing me. I didn't have it and so I finally found it and it is Flying by Megan Hart. I am the biggest fan of Megan Hart. If you guys can't tell, I have a collection of her- I don't know why my arm had to go up in order for that to be shown, but it did! I have a collection of her stuff, uh, it's- I own almost all of her books. Almost. Almost. Because I think she actually has published 30. I'm slowly making my way to pub to owning them all. Love Megan Hart books. I stormed through them in a matter of day. Not days- this is, this is singular. That was a lot of the the the. Whatever. We're getting over that. It's very late. I've had too much coffee, so we're filming. These next two books were sent to me by the lovely Angela Graham, um, and it is, I think, is it a two book series? Maybe. I'll have to check on that. But I had got sent Inevitable, which is book one, and then Irreplaceable. That's right, right? Yeah. Irreplaceable, which is book two. I really like the covers because they're simple. Like, I, I don't know, I just find that so many covers can go so overboard, and it's like, really? But so I really, I like these. They're very tastefully done. Let's see what's there about, which is book one. This is, okay, book one. After experiencing a humiliating breakup, 22-year-old Cassandra Clark is fresh out of college and living a simple, solitary life without any intentions of pursuing love anytime soon. When the estate next door sells, the last thing Cassandra expects is the unnerving attraction she feels for her simply handsome neighbor, Logan West, the young and charming single father with a playboy reputation. Haha, <laughs> I steal you. Next, I'm going to talk about a collection of poetry. I've read another Langleaf book be collection poetry of the English before, and I quite loved it. Also, we'll have that link down there in the description. But I picked up Lullabies, which I love the matte cover. Good? I really loved Love and Misadventure, and so I'm sure that I'm going to love this. Ugh, I'm going to read the poem on the back, because why not? You are the one I wanted most to stay, but time could not be kept at bay. The more it goes, the more it's gone, the more it takes away. Ah, I don't know. I just, I love on the more somber side of poems, and I think that's what this one's going to be, and I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. I love poetry so much. And, um, shameless plug right here. If you're also into poetry or slam poetry, I have a vlog in which I went to a slam poetry poetry night thing here in Houston, and Neil Hillborn was there. Hi, everyone, especially on YouTube knows him. I think it was like 8 million views? as of last Wednesday, probably has gone up. He's crazy famous to the people who are familiar with poetry. Anyway, it was crazy to meet him and to hear him slam, and it was a lovely experience, and I have the entire vlog all down there. It's a very long vlog, 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 blah. It's a very long vlog, but I have timestamps down there in the description, and I highly recommend watching Madison Parker's and Austin Diegelman's and, of course, Neil Hilborn's, and, like, all of them are my favorite, but really, watch those. This next half dozen or so books, I blame um, Half Price Books. It's their fault. I got them all for very cheap. An entire series, I think. Maybe I'm missing like the last two or three. But for under $18 for a whole thing, I'm excited. And so I'm going to try to whip through these kind of fast or this could get very long. And they're not going to be in order. I got the Sookie Stackhouse series. What? 
I got the Stooky, 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 okay, Snooky Stooky. I got the Stooky Sack House, stack. <laughs> I got the Stooky, oh my god, why can't I speak? I got the Sookie Stackhouse series, that's the True Blood series, and this is by Charlene Harris. So I got Dead Until Dark. Again, not in order. Definitely Dead, Altogether Dead. Dead as a Doornail. Dead and Gone. Dead to the World. This is, I think, the one I'm really excited about. Is this the one? The fourth one? I don't know. The fourth one's the one I'm excited about. Ah! No, I lost the game! From Dead to Worse, Dead in the Family, Club Dead, Living Dead in Dallas. So that is all that I have in the way of books. I had a lot of them and I tried to get through these very quickly. I will have a review up on the first Sookie Stackhouse book um, relatively soon, maybe before this, maybe after this, I don't know, but check the description and I'll tell you down there. And I just, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually didn't spend that much money on this book haul, which makes me pretty happy. It feels good to save. Half Price Books is the place to be. So I will see you guys later next time on Book Room Stock. Bye. Oh, no, okay, balance. I got the Stooky Stackhouse series. What? I got the Stooky. 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 Okay, Snooky Stooky. I got the Stooky Stackhouse. Stack. Ah, no, I lost the game. So I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Give it to me. I need to cut that out. <laughs> no one is going to take the, the right way. I'm not sure there is a right way for that to be. Oh.